Hello everyone, how are y'all doing? Today I'm going to talk about the time that uh, I almost got um, blackmailed. Some certainly interesting times. Also, I have probably the worst internet lag right now, so bear with my gameplay like this. Like that. Like, But anyways, on to the actual story. So, back in about uh, ninth grade, there was this huge kind of allegation kind of thing going around with my friend but apparently been socking this one girl um now i wouldn't even really consider this guy a friend if i'm being super honest but he was i guess and it's still like a somewhat of an acquaintance so it was kind of wild to me that he was stalking like he's out here stalking girls it was just a bit interesting to me apparently he was out here stalking some girl um, because he liked her which uh, that was interesting and if you're wondering how we knew this there were screenshots of him basically admitting it to somebody which was interesting and this somebody happens to be the guy that tried to I was gonna try to blackmail me so he basically tells this guy look I want you to post this conversation of me like saying I like her I just don't want her to know about it though he posts it the guy he posts it and the eventually gets taken down and I only really heard about this from a friend that had basically been friends and saw the post because I just I hadn't really seen I hadn't heard his I haven't really seen his account too much I think I had him followed it was all on insta this whole like weird tobacco thing and I think I had him followed but I just didn't really look at his account at all in other words I was basically just heard this from a friend and it was all this just honestly mischievous stuff. Get this guy. There we go. That had all gone down. And we had already not really liked this guy, to be honest. He was an acquaintance, if anything. And we had already not really liked him too much. So this just, like... This just made us be like, okay, we have a reason to really just stop talking to him. We kind of didn't. I will say we kind of did, like, very much, like... Be like, oh my god, you over here is stalking. Which, it is wild, to be honest. Like, we kind of definitely overplayed it. Over, overplayed it. Or over-exaggerated it, I guess is the better word. But to be fair, he was the one stalking a girl. Because he liked her, which is some real weird shit. I mean, I, I don't know how he expect us to react. And the craziest part about this mainly, though, is that he decided to just lie about it. Like, he just didn't tell the truth off jump. Like, because we kept asking about it, we were pressing him about it, and in, we, in the worst part, we had screenshots of him saying it, like, of him admitting it, and we'd even send it to him, like, in our GC, and was like, bro, you clearly said this. Like, it's in writing, bro, what? Oh, bro, this lag. Oh, the lag's back, gang. Bro. Are you, bruh. But anyways, yeah, this guy was just straight up lying to us. So we were like, yeah, come on. Like, we, we know you did it. Like, we very much know you did it. And even then, no one he we, no one really liked him, to be honest. He kind of just hung out with us. And it wasn't even, like, a, a mean thing. Like, we were pretending to be his friend. He just kind of hang out with us. And we would verbally say that we didn't really like him. Like, if it wasn't... If that wasn't enough, then I really don't know what was. He did apparently stalk that girl. And... The main controversy over that was that that girl was a friend of one of my other friends, and it was just kind of weird because we knew he had a he had a crush on her, on her, and no one really like stopped him mainly because we kind of thought he had almost zero chance of that ever happening, and you know to be honest, he probably didn't have a chance, but even then we weren't gonna just straight up crush him down because I mean like we really didn't there was no really. There, there was no telling what chances he he might have had, so there was no point in just saying, yeah, you have zero chance, besides, like, being, like, likely you have zero chance. So eventually, I decided, right, not not because, to be more specific, not because I was some friend of this guy or anything like that, but simply just because I wanted to, like, know who this guy who would basically just set this man up was. Because this guy, like, he 100% set the man up. Because the guy, like, our friend said, like, when he, when they posted it, like, that he basically liked her and all these other screenshots, to not put his profile, not put his PFP, not put his name. Now, to be fair, they didn't put his name, but his PFP was, like, they put, like, 
if you've ever seen like the editing thing on on fixtures, you can you know how you can do the like little marker tool. It was basically like the little marker tool on probably the thinnest stroke you could have done, and it was just like one stroke across the thing. Like it was just one little red line across the VFP. It was probably the worst. <laughs> it's probably the worst editing job I've ever seen. And I was like, nah, yeah, because that's so bad. There's no way it was on accident. Like, it was such a bad editing job that I genuinely did not think that there was no actual way that was on an accident. They 100% did that on purpose to screw the man over. Beside that, to be fair, the guy in question, our acquaintance of a friend, kind of did deserve some of it. And I mean, do people deserve to be set up and framed? No. But this guy already was just such like an egotistic douche, which is mainly, which is one of the main reasons why we didn't talk to him. Or like him much um, and I don't know if he's trying to do that as an act and stuff which if he was I don't know why you would do that it was either way just fairly annoying oh my god bow spamming I hate it oh my lord oh my lord holy oh my why would you jump here like why would you jump why would you why would why shame shame on you <laughs> shame on you how Hold on. Gang. What is this? Kind of set him up. That was just a GG's right there. Damn. Oh my god, lag. No. And I got kicked. I got kicked. I got. Guys, I'm actually out here struggling. Like, it's it's not, not even funny. Oh, no. Nah, these three guys are going to try to jump down. He's dead. She's dead. That's calculated plays right there, baby. Basically, I decided to talk to the guy that had set this man up. Uh, not to, like, get any revenge for this man. I didn't care uh, even the slightest about this man. It was mainly just so that I could see why he did it. Because it just didn't make sense to me. Because I was like, it just seemed so random. Because it was nothing like my friend, like this guy, like provoked anyone that we knew of or anything. Like he just, it just kind of happened. It was so confusing to me. So I talked to him. And then at some point, right, he basically like, yeah, I like doing this just because it's fun. And I'm like, I can kind of respect that, I guess. Like, only the people who really kind of deserve it, though, of course. Not, like, just random innocent people. Um, that's a little bit of foreshadowing. But basically, I just had a talk with him where he basically was like, yeah, I don't really like the dude. Kind of hinted at the fact that it was the girl was the one who, um, the girl in question was the one who had him take the post down because she didn't like the publicity against, uh, like, at herself, toward herself. So, uh, I could kind of understand that a little bit. I was like, okay, that kind of makes sense. The next day, I got a message on Insta later, basically from him saying, I'm posting you and you and mine messages, by the way. And I'm like, okay, so why? Because, mind you, the reason you're probably like, oh, but why were you, why would you be so against it? Like, the thing is, we're talking about the same guy that just openly admitted to me that he framed this man. And is not giving his identity either, which makes sense, but still. I'm like, yeah. I'm not exactly too thrilled to see what he's going to do with our DMs. He's going to probably try to side me with the guy because I asked about it. He's going to try to make me think. And if you're wondering why that's such a bad thing, this guy is now basically dubbed as a stalker. A creepy stalker because there's other screenshots that also mention stuff that he liked about her, um, well, let's just say physical attributes. <laughs> oh my lord, the lag is bad. Basically stuff that he, that he liked about her, uh, physical attributes let's just say that physical attributes um and so i was really not trying to be a part of any of that especially because i have a girlfriend and i really don't want that to be what i'm known for so i was gonna try my best to make sure that didn't happen to me so i told him i was like buddy you can't why would you post our messages yeah like just oh my fucking god this lie. i asked him like okay why like why do you feel a need to uh, to post our messages bud and he's like, because I'm, I want to frame you to, and he quite literally said this in text, I'm gonna frame you to be with blah blah blah, the stalking creep, creep who, who stalked this girl. And by the way, he said this in message. So you already know it instantly, boom, I just screenshot. Now I didn't tell him this, cause then I, what I wanted him to do was try to do it. And then as soon as he tried to do it, I'd be like, uh, buddy, show him that screenshot. So when he asked, 
like after a bit, I was like, uh, that's pretty low. You can't really do that. Oh my fucking god. Like, basically what happened after that was him being like, he's gonna, he's gonna say, he's gonna stalk you, not stalk me, he's gonna frame me. And me being like, oh, uh, you can try. And then he, later that day, he did try ending up trying to do something. And it wasn't even with the same messages. He just kind of used a different message. He tried to make me come out as some, like, weirdo. Because I said, I was like, clearly, where I'm very clearly trolling him by being like, oh, no, I just want to make sure you don't feel lonely. Because what I had been, what I had been doing was just being like, just to, to mess with him. Being like, oh, because he's like, he's like, damn, you don't shut up. And I'm like... Oh, I just don't want to make sure you're lonely, Pookie. <laughs> so, like, very clearly trolling him. And then he just took a screenshot of that out of context and tried to make me look like a weirdo. He just took that out of context and tried to make me look like a weirdo. And I just remember I just, like, sent to my friend. I'm like, oh, it begins. <laughs> and it, it all ended up just going nowhere after that. Cause I just unfollowed him at some point because I was just bored of it. That story just ended there. That's basically the whole story. So, you know, I'm going to end the video there. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'm very sorry for the laggy gameplay. I'll try to be fixing that by the time the next video comes out. And I'll see y'all later. And I think it's lagging right now, too. Yes, it is. I'll see y'all later. I'll get my internet fixed.